All right. I'm just going to show you basically, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't even know how the heck I ended up on Wargame Vault. And then um, I ended up in my library. Well, you know, just clicked on it. And I was like, oh, my God. I, I remember um, ages ago. Well, I, well, obviously, that's where the name, well, not not where the name Nanguea comes from. But I ended up using that for a superhero. And it got published in uh, basic ac action games or uh, basic action superheroes bash. Actually, the guy on the left there, Tiger Shrike, he's right. I don't know if the window, no, I don't think it's showing. But the guy on the left there, we'll go through it. I just like well, to the, the, you know what? I was just looking at it's been ages since I've look, uh, looked at this. Like I've got obviously a better copy upstairs, but the reason why I purchased it today was because I didn't realize um, they came with uh, the newer version of the PDF comes with um, uh, printable fold out little counters. I was like, oh my gosh, I can have a miniature Nanguea on my table. And uh, the guy on the left there uh, with the glasses flying is Tiger Shrike. He's actually a super villain. So some of these guys are not nice and other guys are, are. So here we go. It's, you know what? It was an enjoyable experience, to be honest with you. It was really good. I think he's really trying to also show you how this works. It's very panel based, uh, almost like micro narrative types. It made sense eventually. Thing is, I'll, I'll try to go quickly. You can see it's basically you've got three. I mean, you basically also uh, scale your powers or. You know, everybody has their own, um, like, this is a street-level character kind of thing, like Spider-Man or whatever. Um, Alley Cat, she would obviously fit in with me very well kind of thing. And this is, you're going to see great, this guy did an awesome job due to the fact that he gave everybody their character full on, as you can see here, what to do. It looks very comic book based of what you're used to, at least for me, Marvel all over the flipping place. Um then he connects the dots with all our characters, tries to find, uh, he'll give you a story seed independently and then also try to connect the dots with the, it was amazing. It was such a good experience. So you, I'm just gonna go through quickly. You can see like some of the, uh, that's a superhero. Um, very different, uh, another street level character. I think he was a, uh, an a-hole here, like a super villain. But you can see as you know typical stuff if you want to uh gain uh certain whatever's you may have to take a mental malfunction or some disadvantages which nanguaya and tiger shrike did for sure i was shocked that i was uh was looking here and i've got i'm part of a, a story thread with frost i was like what this guy's really pushed this guy iron maiden really um, interested me when I saw it come out because I didn't know what the other guys are going to be. Um, you know, we just submitted all our stuff. Um, and I was like, oh my God, this guy would work really well with Tiger Shrike uh, just due to the fact that uh, they both have massive Asian connections. And uh, I thought, oh, look, look at him. Oh, he looks good. He's got a wicked, wicked backstory too. Sorry, I've been sneezing my flipping brains out, man. It's it's uh, that time of the season for me. Leviathan, um, I was shocked again. I've got another story thread with her. I'm gonna, like I said, go through the whole thing, but you, I'm just going to show you. Mass Attack was a f interesting character um, creation or back. Like, I was just like interesting idea. Um, so you know how much I paid for this? Five dollars and forty three cents Canadian. Absolutely nothing, practically. Oh, my goodness. There we are in Anguilla. And you can see he's not the sharpest. <laughs> but I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, hedging my bets of what I wanted to do with the, uh, the, my character. And you know what was amazing? I found a 19, or uh, World War II, um, a U.S. Army uh, map of Tripoli uh, in um, Libya. And I used that as the uh, city in my fictitious North America. It was awesome. They had every like freaking little, like there's a hospital, like, you know, that nice little um, hand drawn way. I was like, oh my God, I can't find it for the life of me. It's somewhere. <laughs> but please, please, please. But you can see I'm like so into ridiculous of um, 
uh, I mean, the two things in my world for superheroes basically was um, um, Spider-Man and Black Panther. So try to merge those two and away you go. You know, um, that, that was it. I'm not the, the most uh, imaginative person that way. But uh, I'm just showing you the stuff. I never, some of these people I just kind of like zip through. There's Tiger Strike. Um, interesting, I thought, an interesting character. I loosely based him on uh, Mysterio, to be honest with you. But I also tried to, um, I don't know, uh, like a foil towards Nanguea, especially due to the fact that Nanguea has got these, you know, super, like lion superpowers or whatever. He can like super hearing. This guy's like his entire uh, superpowers are also coming from uh, using ultrasonic um, things. And that's his uh, disadvantage, if you see here. Uh, these powers all share a power source in the suit's uh, backpack, which has a gadget weakness to electricity. You get it. And then, oh, yeah, Alley Cat, she's totally cool, man. Lord of mercy. I've got another month of this sniffly bits. And the only medication I find that works for me is the stuff that, like, knocks me on my butt. Oh, yeah, here we go into the story seeds. You can see, like, it was just amazing that I was like, he can po he's popping everybody in here. I was like, what? Before, I think the first edition didn't have everybody. I don't remember everybody. I remember it being with battery. But um, you know what I mean? I was just like, whoa, um, impressive. Yeah, um, have I played any game or any scenario with this one? No. But I did play a scenario with this game system with another. Um, who the heck did I use? Two other characters, actually, a superhero uh, and a supervillain from uh, one was the Stone Golem or something like that. And uh, oh, really good scenario I came up with, I thought, anyways. Um, yeah, darn it. I got to find that place. Yeah, a lot of people were into this for a while. I don't know if they still are. Well, I, they must have been because he really expanded. He went into um, a bazillion other uh, genres with this. I don't know if it flattened out or whatever, but uh, yeah, it's key. It's neat to. I'm gonna go to, like uh, this is the one I was like, what? And I'm into like with Frost and uh, these other people's. Yeah, I remember this one. Uh, Bring the noise. That's why I was like, okay, he he's cluing in. That's what. Uh, well, that, actually, let's go back to the uh, story um, seed. Sorry if I'm freaking you out here. It was um, like I want. Yeah, no, we're still in story seed land too far up i would hope i didn't pick a and b and all that crazy nonsense um here we go the story seeds what okay we're still a ways away okay shoot some letters and then he goes into other things where it's like you know you can um uh the meetups and stuff okay oops i've got way up there we go no I must have been, I missed it then. It was like it really interesting about, um, um, oh, I'm sure I, I did. Hold on here. I'm going <laughs> to ever show this. Oh, Lord of mercy. Now yeah, let's just go to down to the end. I guess that's it. No? Okay. Good God. No, oh, what am I saying? I've shown tons of worth things, that's for sure. I thought there was something better than this. Maybe it's when we get into Nanguaya again. Okay. We'll just shush. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I wanted to show you. The third one really freaked me out because he clued in to why Nanguaya um, gave up his job. Um, do the fact that he was an MMA uh, fighter for a while, but then they were saying, no, you can't wear necklaces. And he was like, well, I'm fucked then. Oops, sorry. Uh, and then, because that's where all those powers come from. And, oh, yeah, this was the other one here, the double nine way. I can't remember what that was about. Must have been somebody who was, uh, well, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Anyways, it was fun. 
it was a ton of fun. Um, you know what's weird? I wasn't uh, too excited about the way um, the artist did Tiger Strike at the beginning. And then I realized, wait a minute, dude. You picked uh, one strength, one, you know, this, and uh, you just put all his uh, marbles in his marbles. And I was like, well, what do you expect the artist to do? Of course, I gave up all my rights for this. But uh, such is life. Oh, there's Mass Attack with a huge freaking counter. Cool. Yeah, that's all I did for this, really. And they did uh, a few others, so that's all I got to say. And uh, that was fun as hell. All right, I better stop this ridiculousness. <laughs>